2023 Porsche 911 GT3 RS coming with more power, more performance, more wing. The GT3 RS will probably be the last 9000 RPM 911 without some kind of electrification or turbochargers, but it'll have plenty of wing. You could set a watch by the familiar cadence of Porsche's 911 product strategy. New, more powerful iterations follow each other in steady, predictable order. According to the timetable, the next one up is the new RS version of the naturally aspirated 992 generation 911 GT3. The letters RS have long been placed on the best and most extreme 911s. The Rensport name is for cars designed specifically for regular track use, one as close as possible to its motorsport siblings. Now approaching its 50th birthday, the first 911 to get the treatment, the 1973 Carrera RS, has become so sought after by collectors that good examples can sell for seven figures. More recently, the branding has been applied to the raciest versions of the GT2, GT3, and GT4. We know that the new car will use the existing GT3's glorious naturally aspirated 4.0-liter flat 6, one that will almost certainly have a small performance bump over that car's 503 horsepower. Drive will go exclusively to the rear axle, Motorsport 911s aren't sullied with the added weight and complexity of all-wheel drive, and although we would love the idea of a three-pedal RS, it is overwhelmingly likely that Porsche will only offer its dual-clutch automatic in the RS. Spy shots have shown RS mules wearing a vast, swan-necked double-plane rear wing, one that actually looks larger than that on the company's RSR race car. Huge downforce is a certainty, as is the RS improving on the regular GT3's incredible track performance. Expect Porsche to best the last-gen GT2 RS's 6 minutes 43 seconds and 3 milliseconds time at the Nürburgring Norschleif. The new car will carry a hefty upcharge over the GT3's $163,750.